All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We'll give everyone a couple minutes here to join us. Hello and welcome everyone. Um, I'm Alexandra Getze, an attorney and mediator in Dallas, Texas. I provide opportunities for women and their families to have a fresh start and a better life and future. So today's topic is about mindset. If you want to become a more successful person, then you have to have the right mindset. The right mindset is what's going to enable you to not just survive crisis and bad situations, but to also go beyond and thrive in them. So this video is, uh, we're going to keep it relatively short, but it's going to introduce you to four key concepts that you can use now to pivot successfully through crisis. But before we dive into those four key concepts, we're going to begin, I think, with three things that you need to understand first about mindset. So let's dive in. First is stress. And we have to understand how stress affects our lives, because I think a lot of us um, deal with stress and we kind of set it to the side and we forget about it. So times of crisis lead to stress, as does enduring a toxic situation for a long time. You know, stress, thrive, uh, stress blocks a thriving mindset. And scientific studies have actually shown that stress decreases our ability to process information. So basically, Stress is making us dumber and it's hijacking us of a better life. Um, but we don't have to let it control us. So what can we do? Well, what is the opposite of stress? You have creativity, you have bonding and connection and solution oriented thinking. So those are actually the tools that you can use to cope with stress, but it's kind of a catch 22 because those resources become limited when we let stress run our lives. And it just becomes this vicious cycle that can be hard to break free of. So then the question becomes, how do we break that cycle? And it really it boils down to two things. We have to shift our attention and focus away from the negativity and the stress. And we have to adapt new ways of thinking and doing. So we have to seek out new routines that will help us deal differently with the things that are causing us stress. And it is a gradual process that takes time to take into effect, but it does work. It also means that you have to realize that the way you have been doing things has not been effective. If it were, you wouldn't be under the stress that you are. So you are stuck where you are because you've been doing the things that you've been doing and they're not working. So if you want to change, you're going to have to act and think in a way that is different from what you've been doing. Does that make sense? So that can be scary and overwhelming and confusing. And sometimes it does take a crisis to help us hit that reset button. So that crisis can be something like an act of abuse. It can be the last straw after tolerating something for a long time or coronavirus. So the current COVID pandemic, believe it or not, is actually forcing us to change the way that we think about the things that we currently were doing. And it's offering us an opportunity to change our behaviors and mindset. So that in, itself, in the end of itself is a shift in mindset that you can start to adapt is coronavirus, as horrible as it is, can offer us some opportunities for change and adapting to new situations. So the second thing we have to understand is that we have to understand what are, what is the key that makes people successful? So, you know, if you want to be successful, you know, there's a hundreds, there are hundreds of books out there that interview the rich and they dissect what makes them tick. Um, and in the end, there's one thing that they all have in common and that is mindset. Mindset is the biggest reason that prosperous people prosper. You know, but prosperity and success are not just about wealth. Um, success can take many forms. Um, not all of us want to be rich. Um, you know, for some people, living a lifestyle that affords them the time to do what they love is success. For others, having influence or being surrounded by friends and family, that's their definition of success. So success is different for everyone, but the one thing that does unite them all is mindset. The third thing we have to understand is that we have to understand what are the things, the concepts that then contribute to the successful mindset. So there are the, these are the four key concepts that I was kind of talking about that you can start 
taking action on now. So they're more than just habits. They are a way of life and it takes time to adjust. They don't just happen overnight um, and they do have to be developed over time. And so I'm not going to go into dive deep into these things and how you can do them, but I will kind of touch on them. And then if we're going to do some polls and I'll see if you guys want more webinars on them specifically and we can do uh, more webinars on them. Um, so the first key concept I think that's really important for people to understand is plan and set goals. Successful people plan their success. They understand that building wealth or creating free time is a process. Successful people are results oriented and they're setting goals for the desired outcomes that they want. They create budgets and they create visions of what they want their future to look like. So let me um, throw out our first poll here. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Um, all right, let's see, I think I can do this one. So if you guys would like to have a webinar on any of these topics related to planning um, and setting goals, uh, you know, let me know when we can do a follow up one where we dive deep on how exactly do you set goals um, that are going to be effective and not just like a dream and a wish. I think a lot of people actually don't uh, spend, don't create, you know, their New Year's resolutions and things like that in an effective way. And I've had to go through training in order to learn how to actually properly set goals in a way that will help you achieve them. Um, calendaring is another one, um, making effective use of your time. Um, that's, you know, time blocking and things like that. We could do a course on that. I've taken courses on that that I can certainly share with you guys. Um, creating a budget, which is important for all of us. I've tried budgets over the years. They haven't worked, some have worked. And so we could go through where we talk about budgeting and spending plans and how to have a budget that will actually help you be wealthier um, or other things. And if you guys have ideas for other topics, let me know. You can shoot them out there in the Q&A section. Um, that's kind of the, probably the best place um, or in the chat, oh, the chat. Uh, there's a chat feature actually you guys could throw out some ideas if you guys have some other ideas about um you know planning your success um and then we can build and develop some webinars and videos for you guys on those so um just a quick poll um and we're gonna end the polling now so get your answer in if you haven't already voted um and here we go all right um so it looks like you guys uh, want a session on goal setting, which would be great. Um, calendaring, that's a good one. Um, so we'll, we'll start working on those for you, okay? Um, all right, so let's close that. All righty, and let me just check, oops. All right, all right, so what's the second concept um, that successful people seem to all share? That is, behave like a successful person. You know, fake it till you make it, that kind of thing. Um, there is some truth to that. So to explain this concept, I wanna focus on using the example of money and wealth since that's kind of the easiest one to explain. So you guys have probably all heard the, the term act like you're rich. Well, what does that really mean? So acting like you're rich does not mean spending a lot of money. Acting like you're rich doesn't mean go out and buy expensive things. Acting like you're rich does mean working with a team that supports you. So think about it. Rich people have CPAs, they have wealth managers, they have great employees. If they have businesses, they have mentors, they have coaches, they have therapists, they have a team that supports them to help them achieve their success. And you know, success is rarely achieved in a vacuum. It is rarely achieved alone. You know, it often it requires brainstorming and problem solving with people that have perspectives that are different than your own. And successful people ask for help from people who know what they are doing. That's why asking for help from your friends and family, while maybe fine, you know, or if you're asking the advice of random people that you meet at the grocery store, you know, that's not likely going to lead to success because they don't necessarily know what they're doing or what they're talking about. While it may be well-intentioned, um, successful people understand that when you're going to ask for advice, you ask for advice from the people who know what they're doing and what they're talking about. Acting like you're rich also means investing wisely. So investing wisely doesn't just mean putting money into some stock option or whatever. 
It means investing your time and your money and your influence in an intentional way. So you don't just waste your time and give away your time to people. You intentionally use your time to achieve your goals. So setting aside money for your future, understanding your options and consequences of those options, educating yourself about your choices in life, those are all vital to success. Um, you know, those are the things that having the right professionals on your team can also help you with. And so successful people invest in the right team. So um, again, I'm gonna kind of see if there is a, I'm gonna launch a poll here on this concept and see um, if you guys would like to have something you know, we work with teams on, on our divorces and on our cases and stuff. So we have a lot of different experts that we work with. Um, and I always encourage our clients to take advantage of these people. And so common ones are financial advisors, therapists, things like that. So I know financial advisors, there's a lot of fear and skepticism around it. And actually in my own personal life, um, it took us, me and my husband, a long time to try to work with a wealth manager because my husband was embarrassed. Um, you know, we had debt years ago um, when we were students and kind of beginning our careers, we had a ton of debt. Um, and then it took a while for us to kind of start to accumulate wealth. And so my husband was like, he was embarrassed. And he's like, I don't want to work with a wealth manager or whatever. And I kept telling him, you know, if you want to become a wealthy person, then you're going to need to ask for help. And so um, we, we invested and we found the right team to start supporting us. And while we are not rich, uh, we are planning and preparing and, and working towards that growth and brighter future. So I highly recommend anybody, especially going through crisis or a divorce situation or like that, you know, work with your team to get you, you may not feel like that's what you, you need, but it really can boost your success afterwards and after the crisis. So demystifying financial advisors would be a great one. I think people often don't understand how to work with them, how their fee structures work, things like that. You know, um, if you're facing legal um, situations, how to pick the right lawyer, what questions to ask, and it doesn't have to be just family law. You know, uh, we have people with employment law situations, with personal injury, immigration, all that kind of thing. So generally, how do you pick the right lawyer to work with you on legal situations? Um, or some others, if you have thoughts on other ideas, um, you know, acting like a wealthy person or, you know, how to, to do that, um, type them into the chat um, or into the Q&A and that'll give us some ideas and helping you uh, and we can work out some webinars and things like that too. Uh, so, oh, how to create a vision. That's a great one. Um, so we could do like a vision board type thing too. Um, so I think that would be a great, great topic. Um, all right, so I'm gonna end the polling and uh, share, your, share the results with you guys. And um, so it looks like maybe having a panel of, of some financial advisors or kind of going through and talking about what they are, that might be helpful for you guys, so. Okay. Let's see, so next topic here. All right, so the third concept <clears throat> that successful people all seem to share is focus. Focusing means eliminating the distractions that are gonna take you farther away from your goals. So we all have people in our lives who distract us from our purpose and they can infect us with negativity. So successful people don't let those people control their lives. Successful people let go of the relationships that no longer serve them. Successful people become aware of their own negative behaviors and they take steps to address the root causes of those behaviors so that the behaviors no longer control them. Successful people stop wasting time on distractions. Like, you know, we all do it, you know, spend time on Facebook or on social media or whatever. Um, and so successful people really, they don't waste time on those distractions there. And if they are on those distractions, it's with intention and purpose. They use their time judiciously and, you know, with intention and purpose. Successful people also prioritize themselves. They're gonna eat well, they sleep well, they exercise, their focus is on staying healthy because they know that that's gonna help them achieve their goals um, long-term. So as a result, when they focus, their lives are becoming richer and their time becomes more enjoyable. Because think about when you're eliminating all those distractions, it really is the quality of your life begins to improve. So for you to become more su successful, you're gonna to need to focus on your goals and eliminate the negative people and the negative distractions in your life. 
Part of that also means celebrating your accomplishments and staying focused on your goals. When you celebrate your accomplishments and you, you're gonna bring more gratitude into your life as well. And that can be hard for a lot of people. I know it's been difficult for me to celebrate my accomplishments. I'm, I'm very you know, focused on the future and achieving more and better. Um, Those times we need to take us off, you know, maintaining that positive attitude, it will attract more positive energy into your life. So um, I know that this can also be a difficult topic for people or a difficult thing for people to do. Um, and, you know, how do you eliminate these distractions? How do you get rid of this negativity in your life? So I'm going to go ahead and launch another poll and focus on your success. So we could do webinars on um, how to eliminate the common distractions, email is a big one, productivity, that kind of thing. Uh, we could deal with how to deal with toxic people in your life. We have a lot of our clients are dealing with narcissists, so maybe some basic coping mechanisms and coping skills. Um, I know one of our upcoming webinars in this series is going to be talking about parenting, and we're going to touch on parenting with a, an, an ex who is a narcissist or a toxic person. Um, so we're going to hit the parenting one in that one a little bit. But um, definitely, if you just need general coping skills, um, that could be a topic that we could present on and we could bring on a therapist who really knows and deals with narcissists and can help us with that. Um, you know, other ideas that you guys have on how to focus, those were just kind of some ideas that I thought of. But if you guys have other suggestions on things that we could teach about um, to help you focus, maybe wellness, um, things like that. Uh, we can even do a guided meditation if you guys really would li like that. And maybe we could bring in, uh, you know, some sort of, we could talk about the apps that are out there to help us with our, our wellness uh, and some of the new pivots that some of the wellness gurus out there are making um, and that are affordable and within reach and kind of ways to take back some of your time for yourself. Um, we could have an, a, an, a webinar on that too. So just let me know, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll build something out for you guys. All right, I'm going to end the polling. All righty. And so um, looks like uh, how to eliminate common distractions. That would be a good one. So um, definitely that's one that I struggle with too. And um, I bet have taken steps and, and learned some tips and tricks that I can certainly share with you guys. Um, and dealing with toxic people and all that stuff. Sounds good. All right. Um, all right, so now let's talk about the last one, the fourth concept that successful people have. And that is they see opportunities. Opportunities are all around us, even in crisis. So for the law of polarity, there are, you know, different universal laws, but, you know, yin and yang, black and white, light and dark, you know, there's this law of polarity that we're all aware of. And so for every problem, there is a solution. It's just a matter of seeing the solution from the right perspective. And so successful people have shifted their mindset and focus so that they can see more opportunities and they see solutions to challenges that they encounter. So problems are no longer problems. They now are challenges that help you grow and evolve. So even now, within COVID and all this stuff and, and whatever crisis you're, you're facing, there are silver linings around us. For instance, um, you know, we may not have the gift of revenue right now during the COVID situation with a lot of people being unemployed, but on the flip side, we do have the gift of time. And so, you know, and we are in relationships now that really help us see the how those relationships are doing whether it be with our spouses with our children with our friends our peers whoever it is it's allowing us to see how we've built these relationships and you know do we need to work on those relationships um is there a way that we can become better parents um i know that's something that now i'm starting to see you know i thought i was a pretty good parent but now there are things that i'm seeing that i'm like huh there's room for improvement there and um you know how can i connect with my kids better how can I connect with my spouse better? Because um, we do have this gift of time now, which is very precious. So right now, you know, is a great time to organize, uh, to become more efficient, to plan and prepare 
so that when we are ready to resume whatever normal life we're going to have, we can come back stronger. So for our clients and other women thinking about divorce, this is the perfect opportunity to move forward, not necessarily with filing your divorce, but with preparing for your divorce. Um, you know, and for those who have filed, this can be a really great time uh, to use that as leverage for your situation. So for everyone else, this is the perfect time to go get counseling. This is the perfect time to interview, uh, you know, for jobs and things, to assemble a great team that supports you. It's the perfect time to upgrade your professional online profiles and explore career options. Um, it's the perfect time to assess. That's debt and my debt reduction it's, it's a perfect time to be able to see the situation and, and see how things can be through the horribleness that's going on around us. There, there can be something created beautifully, just like, you know, a volcano explodes and, and destroys all the flora and fauna, but then from that grows a new island um, and new life. So. so those are kind of the four key concepts. So I'll just kind of review them quickly again. <clears throat> it is um, successful people plan and set goals for themselves. They behave like successful people and take the actions of successful people. They focus on their goals and eliminate distractions. And they see opportunities and silver linings around them, even in problems. So that's what I've got for today. I told you I'd kind of keep it short, about 20 minutes. I think we're right on, on that. So in order to plan and prepare a better future and become stronger, we're going to continue this conversation. <clears throat> and I hope that you'll join me. Um, so I would love for you to join us on our next video in the series, which is Upgrade Your Career, How to Find the Golden Opportunities in Crisis. You know, believe it or not, I was actually uh, preparing for this webinar uh, about a week or two ago, and there are lots of jobs out there right now, and a lot of them are virtual. So this crisis is actually presenting an opportunity for a career upgrade and a fresh start for many people. Um, so the webinar itself is going to touch on how to navigate the big job sites, kind of where they are, kind of how to navigate through them, find those jobs. Um, it's going to show you how some of those jobs are easily within reach. We're going to give you some tools for updating your resume and your cover letter. You're going to be so surprised at how easy it is to do this stuff. Um, tips for stay at home moms who want to get back into the workforce. We have a lot of stay at home moms who think that they don't have the skills to get back in the workforce, but I can assure you, you do. Um, so we're going to hit on some of those. Um, and then quick ways to clean up your online professional profiles, your social media profiles that are out there. If you don't have them, how to kind of set them up real quick and just sort of a quick thing. Um, and then some other great resources that I've got for you. Um, so uh, invite your friends and family to join us as well. Again, it's not focused on divorce. It is just anybody who's looking for a career upgrade or to kind of freshen up uh, their, their profiles and, and career stuff looking for a job, that kind of thing. Um, so share it with them and um, I'm happy to help. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Our handle is at Family Law DFW. So Family Law DFW Dallas Fort Worth um, to get the latest updates, resources and inspiration to help you thrive through any crisis. So thank you all for joining me. And um, I look forward to having you guys at future webinars. If you guys have any questions, um, oh, support group for women to share what they're going through and gain support. Yeah, I love that. Um, so if you guys have any other questions, feel free to um, shoot us an email or whatever. And um, otherwise, see you next time. Take care.